Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Prosecutor's Path. Last time we left off, we were back here in a courtroom and Blaze the Best was now standing up in court and saying, well, come on, he's like, let's just end, get this over with. You guys can't prove anything because he thought that, you know, his men su successfully kidnapped John and that would coerce uh, Justine to you know, let him go. However, that is not the case, and it seems like Sebastian finally is able to stand up to him. A little bit, you know, time to time, but you know, he's strong. So we're like, what is the other item we can examine here to find out more, you know, about what Sebastian found? And the only thing that makes sense is the newspaper, so let's actually go ahead and, um, select it. We're still not done examining the newspaper that the bell was wrapped in! It seems that Sebastian has the same idea as I do. Wow, this is just wonderful, you know. So wonderful, it's to cry for. Is it desperation? Or simply reckless am abandon? Are you really going to pin all your hopes on a worthless scrap of newspaper? <laughs> we won't know for sure whether, whether or not it's worthless until we examine it, now will we? Sebastian, let's examine it post-haste. Okay, so I don't really see anything in the front there, so let's look at the back. Ho ho ho! Look at this! Is this a handprint? There's something greasy on here too! Is it oil? Judge Courtney, we'd like to request a fingerprint analysis on this paper. Could you please summon someone from forensics? Your request is accepted. Contact the lab at once! Reporting. These are definitely fingerprints. Uh, however, it's from a glove. W what? Didn't I tell you? It's nothing but a worthless scrap of paper. Just think about it, you know. When handling important evidence... What kind of idiot wouldn't use gloves? Oh, wait. Wouldn't that be you? The idiot who doesn't know when to give up? That's pretty harsh, talking to your son like that. What's wrong with calling an idiot an idiot? If you want to be the, the best, you have to be heartless. I have no compassion for worthless individuals, not even for my own son! Pops! I... You know, you've always called yourself a genius prosecutor, haven't you? Didn't I explain to you this morning why you were a genius up until now? That's right. It was all because of me. Because of my authority! You are always being protected by people like Courtney. And me. <laughs> now, get that stinking face of yours out of my sight! Stinking? You know, now that I think about it, that stench might just suit you perfectly. Just keep it away from my nose, or my eyes will stop watering. Wrong! You're wrong, Pops! Sebastian? What are you talking about? You're the one who stinks, Pops! It's you, not me! What? You haven't noticed, have you? You smell, Pops! So much that you can't even hide it! Mr. Edgeworth, try smelling the handprint on the newspaper. The smell? Hmm. It smells like oil. I know something that just smells that smells just like it. Come think of it back then. Yep, motor oil. Oh and the glove itself. I mean those are pretty special gloves. That's right. The smell proves it. It proves that the culprit who hid the evidence was Well you. It's no good. I guess I can't become the best after all. I'm too soft. I can never be so heartless. I just can't bring down my father with my own hands. Prosecutor the best. Summon your courage. Become a different prosecutor from your father. Wasn't that what you decided? We are prosecutors. And as prosecutors, we stand in the courtroom. In that case, isn't it our duty to shed light on the truth? Exposing crimes and bringing criminals to justice. 
even if the criminal is your own father. That is your duty as a prosecutor. Didn't I promise you that if you have the courage to stand up, I will show you the way? If you cannot do it alone, then we shall do it together. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Allow me to present the evidence that connects this hampering with my father. Okay. And, well, we found those gloves, you know, that were in the Blaze of S garage. And they have that distinct death thing written on it, which I never, it was also imprinted onto the actual newspaper, so this has to be it. This is, a smell, this is a smell of motor oil, the kind used for maintaining motorcycles. Both myself and Mr. Edgar have smelled this exact same smell before. Blaze the best! It was in your garage! Oh. And wouldn't you say these fingerprints have a rather peculiar shape? The five letters that spell out death. It's exactly the same as your own gloves. <laughs> You can buy gloves like that from anywhere! It doesn't prove a thing! Is that really the case? That's not the only thing that these two pieces of evidence have in common. The fingerprints of the newspaper that was used to wrap up the bell? And Blaze's mechanics of gloves. Oh, my... Oh, who was speaking there? This is the unmistakable similarity to, uh, they both share. <coughs> Let's see here. Well, what was, what, I mean, you got the letters, but I don't know, if, I don't know if I got to choose a specific point or not. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm taking a closer look at the screen here, um, you know what, I look at the letter A. It's a little faded. Now, if these are truly, you know, his gloves, then that print, that at least the A, shouldn't be imprinted as well. Uh, should be imprinted the same way as it is on these gloves. And I could, I didn't, wasn't paying attention to it on, on the newspaper, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot here. If you examine the imprint left on by the letter A, you'll see it's unmistakably from this glove. What? And that's not all. There's also uh, there's there's one more item that we make that we, that must take that we must take note of, uh, namely these dirt stains. I suggest we do a comparative analysis on dirt stains from a newspaper and a glove. If the contents match up, then it will prove to be decisive evidence. Bailiff, please have these dirt samples sent to forensics for analysis immediately. Ah, Edgeworth, Sebastian. You lowly prosecutors! Do you have any idea who I am? Pops, you can't run any away anymore. It's been proven in court that you conceal the evidence and that you try to cover for the defendant. You're saying that I'm guilty? That I'll be sent to prison? Me? Blaze the best? A couple of snot nosed punks are gonna make me disappear? There, that, uh, there must be some mistake here. Be a man and admit your crimes! Objection. Do you really think you can survive if I'm not around? I... I'll be fine now. I thought I wanted to become the best prosecutor so I could get your approval, Pops. But... When I was kidnapped by your men, and stuck in, and stuck in that dark room, I started thinking... I am... truly powerless. I despaired and averted my eyes from the truth, but... At that moment, Mr. Edgeworth stepped in and showed me the way. And now, I'm no longer just a child chasing after his father's approval. I've become capable, and I can find evidence all on my own now! What? My men kidnapped you? Why were you? Pops, I'll show you the truth you never knew! through this trial. Sebastian! How dare you speak to me like that! You should have stayed- you should have just stayed as an idiot, son! 
You may have hated me to the very end, Pops. But I... I've always looked up to you. Thank you for everything up until now. Goodbye. You! Since when did you? All you've ever been able to do is depend on me! And... Yeah, he just goes insane there. Take that, you piece of crap. It has been established that the evidence was concealed by Blaze the Best himself. A judgment regarding his concealment of evidence shall be delivered at a separate trial. The missing chisel and knife still have yet to be found. However, once a search for the waste disposal site is underway, it will surely be discovered. The knife will be found? What will happen to me if, if it's found? <laughs> no need to worry. You'll simply receive the punishment you deserve for your crime. Uh, punishment? For me? Blaze, what in the world are you doing? You! You! After all your boasting about being able to create your own truths and not guilty verdicts! That's why I can connect uh, content you immediately after the prison incident in the first place! And to make matters worse, you even kidnapped the wrong kid! I just can't believe this! You really, really, really are completely useless! Oh, that was certainly a violent outburst. But you heard her prosecutor the best. Yeah, she got flustered and said a bunch of important stuff, right? Indeed, that's correct. He still doesn't seem very sure of himself. But he's getting there. Very well, and with that, this court is adjourned. What? What the hell? Yeah, what? Huh? Who, who are you? Who said that, actually? Oh, okay. Good old Lang. Judge Courtney, it's still too early for a happy ending. Lang Z says, the end of the trial is not always the end of the case. And who might you be? The name's Shi Long Lang. Just a humble, lone investigator. Do you have some objection with this trial? Ha! Huh, not a chance. The defendant there has a heart of black as a moonless night. Lang! Don't tell me you're the one from 12 years ago! They obviously know each other now, and there goes that whole 12 years ago thing. You got it. Ain't this nice? Now you're finally going to prison where you belong. 12 years ago is a... well, 12 years is a long time coming from suspended sentence. Don't you agree? Agent Lang, what are you talking about? The SS5 incident from 12 years ago. It's a case I'll never forget. SS5, huh? 12 years ago. Yep, it keeps coming back up. 12 years, 12 years. In the last case, the whole... The, the letter said, get revenge for 12 years ago, and... It's been mentioned a couple times. So obviously, we're gonna learn more about this, hopefully at least. I don't know when, but... It has to be... Man, this game has a lot of connections. I love it, though. Okay. Twelve years ago. I wonder what went on then. Might have something to do with Lang's father and president and the president? Patricia Rowland? And you, Blaze the Best. Back then, two of you killed off the Wayne clan. Ugh. Were you involved in the incident 12 years ago? That's right, I was. However, I'm not here to chase after ghosts of the past. I'm here for you, Justine Courtney. Me? You, and one other. Hey, look! John! Miss Courtney, you're coming along too. As a suspect in the murder of the President of Zhang Fa. Objection! Agent Lang, what evidence do you. Settle down, Mr. Prosecutor. The investigation has only just begun. We're gonna inspect the crime scene with the suspects in, att in attendance. Agent Lang, did he get his pants on some new piece of evidence? If you have any objections, then you can tag along as well. I shall do just that. The end of the trial is not always the end of the case. 
There are still uh, many many mysteries yet unsolved surrounding the murder of the president. Namely, the true nature of the giant monster and... Oh yeah, the whole... whoever the, this, this kidnapper was. And why, I want to know who could have possibly bugged the, um... You know, what I was going to say, the, uh... The badge from, like, from that one... I mean, it has, it has been... It had to have been, like, pretty much from the very first case because... Obviously, whoever the, whoever the kidnapper was knew about the conversation in the detention center in the second case. So, there's a, there's all, all that we got to figure out. A true identity of the person on the other end of the phone. Oh, well, there we go. Well, I'm actually just going to go ahead and just uh, call an episode here. Um, I don't usually I make my videos just a teeny bit longer, but it's actually a good spot once again to actually leave off. And, um, well, yeah, I mean, we, we end one thing, but then Age of Link comes on, he's like, nope, you're still not off the hook, you know, and he still suspects of trusting Courtney, but we already told him, it's like, well, that video footage was from two days ago, and we just found a body now, it's like, it can't be, it can't be it, so... I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the hell he has to say, but in any case, we'll just do that in the next episode... So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.